everybody and welcome to the unboxing of a parcel from Hawk War Games. In this I brought the launch uh, assets pack, uh, the activation cards and three of the limited uh, web models for the Saragota, is it? Or the New Cairo, yeah the New Cairo alter alternative uh, sculpt models. And okay, so I've opened up the box and it literally looks like it's a shoebox to some degree, or rather that uh, kind of design. Uh, they do have their own Hawk War Games tape that was around the edges and whatnot. As you know, that was already there. Opening up the box, literally as it is. First thing I want to pull out is the uh, additional activation cards. I believe there was 50 odd of these, so my camera focuses. There we go, that's going to be very handy. One set of activation cards. That was for, I think, eight quid off the top of my head. Uh, the limited um, web model also that alternative cast ones. Come, come to those in a minute, because there's two, three, you got the little black pegs in there as well. Oh, good, Moina. Uh, <clears throat> the UMC. Actually, no, these are the um, generic launch ones, actually. I thought they were for the UMC. Get rid of that. So, with that, just don't tip up my camera. There we go. I thought this would be quite nice for the uh, battle reports and <clears throat> this pack contains uh, six bombers or six bases, four bombers, six fighters and two torpedoes and that's the picture that you get on the back of the box which is also on the website. Um, I'm not going to read all that out but you can pause the video and then you can read it for yourself. Okay, so both sprues are the same, and as you can see, there are base, four bases for three, which are for bombers, three bases for five, which are for fighters, and there's a base there of one, which is for the torpedo. I've had a quick look at these, and hopefully you can see, there we go, that the very small black things there, and the just above my finger, are the actual fighters and bombers. I don't know which ones are which yet. I suspect those are the bombers purely because of the size of them in comparison to spur up to these little chaps. So I suspect those are the fighters more than anything else. Um, you get two spurs of those, so you get a hell of a lot. Uh, the torpedo is that. And uh, you get two of those. That they're all marked up as two there, got six for the torpedo. So I suspect what it is is that uh, there sh may have been a uh, instruction manual in the box. I didn't see one, but uh, well, what you could actually probably do is follow what's on the picture. So you can roughly guess which ones are which. The fact that they're all on the uh, stands, just to be ready to be glued straight into the uh, bases is very nice. The limited time alternate sculpts, I'm going to assume that all three are identical. So you've got the large uh, frigate type base as you expect. Stickers, why they've put two in there, I don't really know, but unless if you balls up one. Large um, peg. You also get, oh lordy, front pass, as you expect. Uh, the usual I assume scannery bits and bobs for the ship. 
<coughs> excuse me, the back end of this uh, ship with the typical uh, UMC slots for your scannery bits and whatever. The detail in this is very nice. Do I see the uh, point defense turrets? This particular one's actually cast very nicely. I do like that a lot. Okay, moving on. Uh, more scannery pointy bits for whatever you need. You also get the usual turn thingy. Uh, I'm not going to get these out, but you get the black pegs for hung counters and things like that. The large clear peg thing is for the base to stand on and you get another uh, scannery doodah. So the photos that you're seeing on screen now are the photos of the Saragota class light cruiser which is the web only 2017 model. These photos are taken direct from Hawk War Games website and are used for information purposes only. No copyright infringement is intended. So as you can see I've had to uh, butcher my way in. What you get is when you <clears throat> excuse me, cut your way through the uh, plastic box like I have is you get a nice uh, foam padding for the cars to sit on when there was actually in the box which for the DIY people out there could probably make use of that you also get your usual sticky papery card thingy and then you get your cards as previously shown in the video there is 56 of these uh, they're all blank Time to break in, and they've all got the battle group, the relevant battle group uh, letters uh, marked on to the cards already for you. And I think these are rather nice from what I've uh, had a look at the first card. So just generic uh, cards. Uh, cards as you do apparently they do fit into various uh, sleeves so if you play games such as uh, Star Wars X-Wing Star Trek Attack Wing like I used to then those kind of sleeves will be perfect for these to fill these out what you can do is you note down first off what battle group it is so Vanguard uh, line pathfinder whatever and you note down how many ships are in each group so say moscow uh here and then you can have two new orleans clash strike carriers here if you really wanted to or however you want to work it then you total up the um the value of the ships so the moscow is a value of uh, 10 and each light frigate is worth one so you can put 12 in here an example of that is these which is that one as i've just said so you can see how they uh, can be written the battle group letters so far i have not seen much use for them unless if they're just there for uh shits and giggles more than anything else so flicking through the cards you go to b e whatever you get c's in there f uh a couple of blank ones for your own battle groups maybe h is how far you go so you could probably go to i if you really wanted to have that many battle groups but uh these are designed to be used with the umc phr scourge and shaltari so eight quid 56 uh, cards i really think that's fair dues if you want to see more drop fleet commander videos then please hit like please hit subscribe it really does help me out as and the channel by my channel name there's a little bell make sure you hit that as that will turn notifications on so then you can be always up to date with whatever videos i do next video out for drop fleet commander will be a couple of battle reports 
Uh, I don't know how often they will be uh, played, or rather put on the channel. However, they will be coming, and depending on the popularity, we'll determine how often they'll come up on the channel. That's it really, so thank you very much guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.